mobility session. It's Erica and Natasha. So we're going to kick you off here. We're going to start standing at some point in a few minutes. We're going to need a band. Any sort of resistance band would be great. If you have one handy, we'll just use it for a few minutes um, after these first few stretches. So we're going to start standing. Um, very first one's going to be just an inchworm. I'm going to walk you through a couple different movements. So let's go ahead and forward fold our hands down to the ground wherever you can reach. So we're just going to walk those hands out into a plank position. Slowly lower all the way down. Left arm reaches straight out perpendicular to your body. And we're just going to roll those hips over, open the hips out to the right side. That right leg can reach over. Scorpion. Good. And we'll switch to the other side. Come back through the center. Right arm reaches out. Shoulder pushes into the ground. Good stretch here in the pack. Keep breathing throughout all this. Excellent. We'll come back to the center. Hands by your shoulders. Push up. Bring that right foot forward into a big lunge. We want the knee on top of the heel or the ankle. Both hands are on the inside of that foot. Or you can put your elbows down. Just want to lower down and try to relax into this. It's on that sun right now. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. All right. And then we're going to walk those hands up to that right knee. We're going to push into that stance and push those hips down towards the mat. Excellent. Same foot forward. Let's straighten that front leg. You can stay standing, staying, you can stay up tall or you can lean forward if you need an extra stretch. You won't feel much unless the, that leg is straight. So straighten that leg wherever you need to be. You should feel that in the hamstrings. Good. All right, we're going to re-bend that knee, send it back. We'll bring the left foot forward. Both hands are on the inside of that foot. Lower that head, lower that back. Just relax towards the ground. Good. Both hands up to that left knee, keeping it bent. We're going to push the hips into the mat or grass or carpet, wherever you are. Go ahead, straighten that front leg. And again, lean as far forward as you need to in order to feel a stretch. Beautiful. We'll re-bend that knee back into plank. So both feet are back. We're going to walk those hands towards our feet. Keep the legs nice and straight. And then we're slowly going to roll all the way up to standing. Arms come up overhead. Take in a nice big breath. Push those hips forward. Hands go back. Reach, reach, reach. And all the way down. We're going to forward fold and go through that one more time. Walk those hands out into plank. Slowly lower down. Left arm reaches out. Right foot can come across. Turn those hips open. Good. And switch. Come through the center. Reach the right arm out. Back to the center. We're going to do a good strong push up. Right foot comes forward into a lunge. Drop that back knee down. Let everything relax towards the ground. Good. Both hands towards that knee. We're going to get into Samson. Push those hips forward and down. Make sure that knee stays on top of that ankle. We don't want it jetting out in front of our toes. Pretty much ever. Good, and straighten that front leg. Lean as far forward as you need to. Nothing painful, just to where you feel a good stretch today. Every day is different. Good, re-bend that knee and send that right foot back into plank. Pull that left foot forward. Drop that back knee, let the head round. Good. Both hands up to that left knee. Push the hips forward and down. You're doing great. Keep breathing through it. Good. Straighten that front leg. Lean as far forward over that foot as you need. Good. Rebend that knee. Send it back to plank. And then we're going to walk those hands towards our feet. Once you get close to your feet, straighten those legs. Stand all the way up, roll up, reach up overhead, big breath, push the hips forward, 
and come back to neutral. Good, be able to do it, huh? Yeah. We're gonna need those bands next. We're in our green space, by the yes. way. Yes. So we got the playground over here and the lake out in front of us. So yeah, we got the sod in here. It looks great. So Super good. Super exciting. Thank you, Barry. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great, guys. Um, I'm excited to be able to use it. <laughs> All right, so the first one we're gonna do are pull-aparts. The further apart your hands are, the easier this one will be with your band. Just gonna have the palms down, keep the arms straight. Literally just pull apart that band is the idea. Make sure you're breathing through these. Well, we'll bring it up overhead, same thing. So palms are forward now. Pull that band apart, nice, right behind you. Nice and slow on the way up. We want you to control that. Don't let the band control you. Down and up. Nice and slow, no need to rush through. Just gonna get a couple of these. Good. Excellent. All right, we're gonna bend those arms, bring it like underneath your shoulder blades. It needs to be kind of low. I don't want it to pop up and like hitch in the head. <clears throat> so for this one, I'm gonna shorten one side because I'm gonna work on this right side over here. So I'm gonna shorten the left side a little bit so that I can stretch that band out, straighten that right arm. We're just gonna do a chest fly, basically, single arm chest fly. So I keep that arm straight, really let that band pull back, stretch it open in the back. Good, all right, we're gonna switch to the other side, same thing. Flies. Think about really squeezing forward. Beautiful. Last one we'll do will be single arm presses. So we're going to put that band either in a foot, in one of your feet, or if you have a thick band, um, you can always uh, put it in your knee even if you want to maybe hold something to balance would be the main problem. We're just going to press so palms are up or forward. And we're going to press up overhead just four or five times. Can I say last one because we have one more after this? Let's do the other side. Get a couple of those overhead presses, straighten that arm, shoulders up into your ears every time that you press. Good. One more stretch for our triceps here with the band. Go ahead and take that band in one hand with some hanging down on one end. We're just going to bring it back behind us. The other hand is going to walk up the back and grab that band. Pull gently or pull hard. No, don't hurt anything, but yeah, pull a little bit on that band. Keep that elbow nice and high, chin off your chest if you're able. Good. We'll switch to that other side. So holding that band, thumb down, band hanging, bring it back behind you and grab with that other hand, pull it down. Beautiful. Good work. We'll go ahead and keep that band near you, but Natasha's going to kick off some that stretches. Let's go ahead and we're going to lie down the floor. Let's go ahead and start with a good hug of the knees. So it's going to grab both those knees and hug them. Hold them close to your chest. You want to rock side to side. You can rock side to side. Rotate that ankle, that leg that you're holding. Let's do little circles. Let's go clockwise. <coughs> and then let's reverse counterclockwise. Good. Let's go ahead and take that knee, bring it across your body. With your shoulder blades laying on the ground. Nice deep breaths here. More big breath. <coughs> Sorry. Good. Let's go ahead and switch. Let's hug your other knee. Leg comes up all the way down. Again, pull that knee up to your shoulder. 
get some ankle rolls. Let's get three clockwise. And let's get three counterclockwise. Reverse it. Great job. Bring that knee. Let's go ahead and cross over on that body. Shoulder blades are down. <laughs> feet on that mat. We're going to do some hip rock. So arms are out wide. I want you to drop your legs down to the right side. And I want you to inhale, bring those knees up. And then exhale, bring them down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Is that your breakfast? <laughs> I think I swallowed a bug. <laughs> inhale up. Exhale down. Good job. Let's get two more of those. So inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Just let's, let's hold it to that side. We're going to hold about 10, 20 seconds. Two more big breaths here. Good, let's bring it back to the top. This time you want to cross your body, so lower it slowly down, as slow as you can, keeping that leg straight. Two more breaths here. Go ahead and bring it back to the top. We're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna stay here first. You wanna grab a little bit higher on that band, you can. Pull it back a little more if you can. Get legs straight. Excellent. Now we're coming out to the slide. So slowly bring that leg out to your side. Nice and straight. Holding that band. Get 
Two more breaths here. Great job. Let's bring it back to the top. And again, we're coming across your body. You can switch arms to hold the band. Ooh, feel that one. Great job. Now a nice deep breath. Good. Let's come back to the middle. You want to bend that leg, undo your band, and switch to the other side. Make sure that band is in the middle of that foot. Get straight up. Go back as far as you feel comfortable. Straight leg. And toe pointing down. Don't point your toe up. Point it towards your forehead. And hold. Great job. Two more breaths here. Work. Let's go ahead and slowly bring it out to the side. You want to stop before the, your foot hits the ground. Keeping that leg straight. Good. Two more big breaths here. Cross your body. Again, stopping before you hit the ground. Leg straight, point your toe towards your forehead. Good, two more breaths here. Center. We're going to hold at the center again. One more round of these. See if you can pull it back a little bit further. A great hamstring stretch here. You have to try and point that toe towards you. your body. Good. Keeping that leg straight. Stomach. We're going to get a quad stretch with this band if you need it. What you can do is you can loop around that leg. You can pull that back to help get a better stretch, or if you can't get it with your ankle, but just pull it back. We're just 
just gonna hold. Just hold around in the grass. Yeah. Beautiful grass, beautiful day. Weather update, it's yeah. gorgeous. Rest point. You can lift it up a little bit as well. Get your plate off the ground if that feels good. More nice deep breaths through this. Good. Go ahead and release it. Keep that on that same foot though. We're going to do that stretch twice. So go ahead and release that leg. Take a deep breath, let's go and bring it back. And hold. Great quad stretch. Sleep out here. No. One more deep breath. Great work, let's go ahead and undo it. Switch legs, so on your other leg, same thing. Loop it through, the middle of your foot, and pull it back. Then you can relax that head if you'd like to, or you can prop yourself up, whichever's comfortable for you. Goal is to get that foot touching that booty. You can. Hard stretch to do. The more you do it, the more flexibility you will gain. Let's do a few more breaths here. One more. Good job. Carefully release. Go ahead and put those hands to your sides. Go ahead and get to the to the cobra. Take a nice deep breath. Up. Or the sphinx if you yeah. want to leave your elbows down too. Good work. Release it. Let's do one more. Come on up. Good. Slowly come up on all fours. Let's go ahead and sit back on. Those heels for a child's pose. Good deep breath, come up one more time. Let's do that one more time. Let's sit back on those heels. If you want, you can walk those hands to the left side and hold. Good, and then you can walk your arms over to the right side and hold. Good job. Come on up on those knees. Let's go ahead and grab those elbows on each side. I want you to just pull side to side. Two more of those. Which I want you carefully to come on out. That's all we have for you today. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, it's a nice mobility, kind of cool down for the end of the week. And we'll see you next week. Have a good weekend. Bye.